Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are making sweet sound cookies from the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge cookbook. For this recipe you will need half a cup of butter, half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of almond meal, one egg, a pinch of ground vanilla, and one and a half cups of flour. Before we make the cookies, we are first going to make the Christoffian sugar by combining one cup of sugar, half a cup of water, and one teaspoon of orange extract in a small saucepan. Cook over medium heat without stirring for 10 minutes until the mixture develops a thick consistency and a golden amber color. After 10 minutes, add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and an additional teaspoon of sugar. Stir vigorously for 5 to 10 minutes until the mixer turns pale and puffy and recrystallizes. Once the mixer dries out, remove from heat, then crush the sugar into fairly small pieces and store in an airtight container. Now we are going to make the cookies by first creaming together the butter and sugar. Add the almond meal, egg, and vanilla and mix again. Gradually add the flour until the dough is no longer sticky and pulls together. Next, roll the dough out onto a lightly floured surface about an eighth inch to a fourth inch thickness. Cut the dough into disc and press an almond slice into the top of the cookies. Transfer the cookies onto two baking sheets lined with parchment paper and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Before you're ready to bake, preheat the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake the cookies for around 10 minutes until the bottoms and sides of the cookies are starting to brown. While the cookies bake, make the sweet sand mixer by combining a fourth cup of Christoffian sugar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of almond meal, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. When the cookies are finished baking, allow them to cool for a minute, then brush heavy cream onto them. Immediately dip each cookie into the sweet sand mixer and tap off the excess. Once all the cookies are finished, they're ready to eat. And that is it guys. These were so good. I can taste the almond flavor along with the cinnamon from the topping. These cookies are more on the soft side with a slight crunch. I haven't made cookies in a while, so I was very happy to make these. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be uploading again soon, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!